Today's topic, Mind, Character and Personality, Chapter 4, Spiritual Influences and the Mind. So today we're going we're gonna to look at this chapter to see what we can learn from it. And we're going to look at the religion and health. Pure religion brings serenity, composure and strength. God is the source of life and joy. Um, I'm going to read the three for today. Actually, you know what? Let me see. I'm going to add. Okay, I'm going to add or receive life from God, actually. So, let's get right into it. Religion and health. Personal religion is of the highest importance. John wrote to Gaius, Beloved, oh, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. So, yeah. Health of the body depends largely upon health of soul. Therefore, whether you eat or drink, or whatsoever you do, do it all to the glory of God. And yes, I'm speaking to myself as well. Personal religion is revealed by the department, the words, and the actions. It causes growth till at last perfection claims the commendation of the Lord. Ye are complete in Him. Letter one seventeen nineteen oh one. So um this this happens a lot and I know I have done things too. And so but even when things happen we always we we always get back up, you know. You get back up, you ask for forgiveness and then and ask God to help you not go back to what you did. And then you move forward. Mm, don't stay down because that's what Satan wants to do. He wants to keep you in that mindset that what you did is can never be forgotten or forgiven. And keeps you down and you have that burden upon you. So that is something to keep in mind. And the healthier you are with your religion... Most likely you're going to be healthy in your physical state as well. Um, Pure religion brings serenity, composure and strength. Hmm, Yeah. Pure and undefiled religion is not a sentiment, but the doing of works of mercy and love. This religion is necessary to health and happiness. It enters the polluted soul, temple, and with a scourge drives out the sinful intruders. And let me actually do something real quick on my... uh, Let me see. Okay, that's right. Good. Just wanted to check something on my computer. Uh, tasking the throne, oh, taking the throne, it cons- it concentrates all by its presence. It consecrates, eh? see, for some reason I'm not reading right right now. Taking the throne, it consecrates all by its presence, illuminating the heart with the bright beam of the sun of righteousness. It opens the windows of the soul, heavenward. Letting in the sign, the sunshine of God's love. With it comes serenity and composure. 
physical, mental and moral strength increase because the atmosphere of heaven as a living, active agency fills the soul. Christ is formed within the hope of glory. Review and Herald, October 15, 1901. Well, um, I think that one is, we have to know what pure religion is, in fact, but, you know what, um, I'm just going to move on. I'm not going to comment too much on that one, because I don't have that much time to, to make the video longer. So, let's go to the God is the source of life and joy. God is the source of light, of life and light and joy of the universe. Like rays of light from the sun, like the streams of water bursting, bursting from a living spring, blessings flow out from him to all these creatures. And wherever the life of God is in the heart of men, it will flow out to others in love of and blessings. Steps to Christ, page 77. And last one, all receive life from God. Hmm. Let's see, all created things live by the will and power of God. They are recipients of the life of the Son of God. However able and talented, however large their capacities, they are replenished with life from the source of, life of all life. He is the spring, the fountain, of life. Only he who alone has hath immortality, dwelling in light and life, could say, I have power to do, I have power to lay down my life and I have power to take it again. Manuscript one thirty one eighteen ninety seven. So what do we have here? Mm, remember this is about um this chapter is about spiritual influences and in the mind. And so, what comes into your mind? What do you let in your mind in terms of spirituality? Um, are you, what is your composure? You know, what, what is your religion, your health, and things like that? You see that people actually who live according to God's principle? Excuse me. People who live according to God's principle they tend to have a healthier life. Whereas those that don't, they don't have a healthier life. And so, maybe it's time for us to reconsider what we do and who we follow, whether it's God or if it's um, of the, the one against God, basically, which is Satan. Um, so, I'm going to leave it here today. This was Mario Michel. I hope to see you again. And, well, if I don't see you again, I hope to see you when Jesus Christ comes the second time. Until then, bye for now. Mario out.